Hello everyone, do you notice what is missing on this wall? Well, if you don't, it looks like we're missing a puma. So I guess that is one of the things we should probably try to get today, alongside a couple other things. I want to make a huge dent in the puma region today. As you can see, there's nine islands. We only visited three of them, which is the underwater temple, iron island, and I also went to this one. There wasn't really a lot on it, but there is an iron wood tree, which is pretty good, as well as there was a puma potion. I also want to use up this pickaxe and get a bunch of iron today. So let's first head towards Iron Island, and then we can just kind of go around. We come equipped this time with the Iron Spear, which is pretty powerful, as well as the Iron Crossbow, and it's charged with copper bolts, so it deals 120 damage. It could deal up to 150, but we're going to need more iron for that. So let's see. Ah, yes. I think the only Puma that's left is the one all the way in the back here. We actually haven't explored that area of the island yet, so that's a good thing as well. Now, I'm not 100% sure if he even has a trophy, but I would assume he does. So if we go this way, I think, according to the map, it looks like it's lead to the buffalo potion. We were up here, like on the top part of the mountain, and we didn't see the puma, so the puma must be down below here as well. Sulfur gas? Oh, that's not good. I know we had this herbal mask for a while, at least I think we did. I didn't actually think we needed it. But I guess it makes sense now why the herbal mask is in the game. How big is the chance that we can just run past? Okay, that goes down way deeper than I thought. We're definitely going to need that herbal mask. And the bats have stung us as well. And we got hit by the steam. We're actually uh, close to dying here. Yeah, I'm going to have to drink another living water. Goddamn. At least that cured us of everything. The question is for how long, and well, that is the answer. That long. Yeah, so all that fog we saw down there, which I thought was just regular fog, but no, it's sulfur. Alright, well, you got a tier 2 poison, but... Eh, yeah, should be alright. Inefficient tool durability. Okay, well that is the other major thing we're going to be facing. I did bring a couple of rocks. We should have probably made a better pickaxe, to be fair. Okay, we're getting quite tired now as well. Luckily, at least I thought this was luckily, but it looks like we can't even place our bed down here. That's unfortunate. Well, I do happen to know that there's a bed over there. Alright, I stopped for quite long, but we do need the stamina here. There's actually a piece of copper here, too. Actually, that might actually be one that we dropped at some point. Ooh, the poison has gotten worse. That's not good. Okay, well, we ran out of rocks, so we cannot mine another piece of iron. That actually went a lot faster than I thought it did. But good thing is, we have 18 pieces of iron. So now all we have to do is take the cart and run all the way to our ship. Oh man, there's a boar here. This iron spear is actually doing wonders. The thing is, we actually need some of this stuff too. Because we need the tendons, we also need to hide. I guess for now, let's just try to go home real quick. Because we're definitely going to need to treat this poison. Not ideal, I will admit. It's not what I wanted to do. But I guess we don't have much of a choice. So we do have a couple scorpions, luckily. We need three of those. And we need leaves. So we just make three of uh, these. Use that. Use it again. And then for the last time, now we're cured of poison. So before we leave again, I would like to try to make the Spanish Schooner. Which in and of itself isn't going to be the easiest job. Unless, I think... We should have enough dried hide once I'm done here. Should have the iron. Do we have the rope? Oh wait, we do have two of them. Sweet. So that means we only need to make one. I guess while we're here as well, if I have an alu leaf, we could potentially make that sulfur mask. So we're in here. If we do, we got one. That is rather lucky, I will admit. But we can now make the herbal mask. <laughs> the fishbone broke. With only one durable or one thing left to go. So let's see, realistically we only need a couple more dried hides and some planks. I think the planks are gonna be the actually, we have wood right here. Yeah, we only make two planks. Sweet. So that means we have enough planks for this. So now we only need to wait on this, which has finished. So we're only missing three pieces of dried hide right now, and then we can actually make it. We do have two more processed height, and there's one on the drying rack. So I might sleep a couple days off, because that's going to take so long. Oh, we leveled up drying. Nice. And it looks like it actually took off about an hour of the time. That's really good. Yeah, drying duration is 20%. That doesn't look like 20% to me, but sure. 
Alright, we got all the materials we need now. For those who are wondering where you can get the set of tools, there are some sunken ships laying about, and you can find them right here. The new area should have a lot more, though. Puma region. Um, let's see. Let's take the helm of this one. To get it out of the way real quick. Crash it into this rock for all I care. We can also upgrade the docks at some point, so I might want to do that. I don't think we need it for the schooner. At least I hope we don't need an upgraded dock. Okay, we might need an upgraded dock. This thing is huge. Cannot do that while in water. Yeah, should have seen that one coming. Should not have built it out that far. Alright, we can at least build our dock a bit closer. There we go. Look at how massive the schooner is. Oh my god. That is a ridiculously large size. Look at the like canoe that we were using. The sail is even larger than that. But we can even improve the schooner as well. Makes it go slightly faster and gives it like more HP. It is kind of hard to see what we need though in this menu because it also takes the supplies from the previous one. I thought we were able to make an increase or improve dock, didn't we not? Maybe I'm thinking of something else then? Just a different game maybe? Well in that case, let's see if we can actually dock the schooner at our current dock. Okay, we can dock it. It's fantastic. 300 units can be held in this box. That is fantastic as well. Is there anything else? Sleeping cabin. Oh, nice. Oh, that actually gives us a bunch of resistances too, so that's really great. And then I just dump all these supplies in there. That's fantastic. Alright, now that we're full up on stats again, what I want to do is go to the Puma region. And we're going to explore some of these other islands. It's so quiet underwater here. Alright, so... This is apparently one of the locations. I can see something on top here. Uh, maybe that was just a tree that I saw. Some alu plants. May as well take those because it looks like we needed them for the herbal stuff. So they might become more useful later down the line again. Alright, good. That's the entire island here. We already have part of it? What? It's like we already have it unlocked, probably from when we were standing on top of that mountain. However, the good thing is, though, there are some sunken treasures. So we may as well just pick those up. Ooh, nice, another navy coat. That's actually really good. Ooh, nice, some of this rope. And resin ointment. Alright, it seems like we unlocked pretty much everything on this side here. So let's go to the northern side. It's really foggy, which is really not helping. Oh, that's why it's uh, foggy. We're going the wrong direction. We're going to fog- Wait, this is also already cleared on the map? It's part of Foggy Island. I think this was like a shipwreck area. So this is Foggy Island, which means this is a croggy island or something. Well, anyway, that's, uh, it showed me that we were actually going the wrong direction. You know, something else I forgot about, so we can actually check what we need to upgrade it now. And I think everything we need, we got at base, so that's going to be fantastic. If we go down a little bit, we can at least mark the island on our map. Location unlocked. Craggy Island. So this is going to be quite a dangerous area. And there should also be a boss on this island. So I really want to get ready for that. I right, found another couple of islands. The rest of the island doesn't have anything. However, this is other island, of course, as well. Alright, well, nothing on this island either. Alright, there should only be a sunken ship left. This ship is, like, right here in between these two rocks. I think I see it sticking out over here. Yes. Alright, fantastic. Now, we should have probably made that mask that allows us to breathe underwater longer. Probably would have helped out a lot. Alright, we cannot enter the captain's quarter here. So the entire top deck, done. Nothing. Alright, hop in from the top. Oh man, there's a bunch of jellyfish around. Oh, we could have just entered from the side as well. I'm guessing, though, that whatever we find... Ooh, piece of leather, nice. It's gonna be back here. Bag of provisions. Don't mind if I do. And a set of tools, nice. I don't see anything else, and we're kinda have to dash here. There is another part of the ship as well. Again, nothing on top. Just a treasure chest here. Coral powder and some nails. Alright, pretty good. Alright, let's check inside. There's a barrel here, which apparently can hold liquids, so that's pretty interesting. I never knew that. Can we actually take that with us? That'd be amazing. I mean, I kind of doubt it, though. I mean, we can put it on the ship. I just kind of doubt that it will stay on the ship. A right, nice, another set of tools. And a clay pot. Oh, nice, we needed that for the schooner. And that seems to be everything around here. Right, I think that means we unlocked all the islands. Yes. Also, only found one native map piece. That is quite surprising, seeing as we fully explored Iron Island. Well, no, that's not 100% true, I suppose. We still have this thing here. As well as whatever the Puma is hiding. 
suppose we may as well just go there and get that real quick. Where did our barrel go? I think it just glitched through the ship. Unfortunate. So there seems to be some sort of entrance here as well. This actually has a special object. Book of St. Albans. And it seems to be a fishing book. I wonder if this actually leads to that puma or not. You know what, let's sleep first. Yeah, okay, we need sulfur mask. But we do have the sulfur mask with us, so that is good. Man, I just fell like maybe a centimeter and he got a cut from it. Alright, put that thing on. I suppose let's head over to that puma real quick. Get the buffalo potion. I think that means after we've done that, we've gotten everything from this island. Alright, we should be able to breathe here now. It is quite dark, and I would light a torch, but I doubt that's a smart idea. Alright, there should be a buffalo potion around here somewhere. Ah, like I thought it's up here. And I think if we go farther down here, we should encounter that puma, right? Oh yeah, we do. That guy was just suddenly on us. Oh, look at the damage we deal, though. Ridiculous. And I see something shiny over here. It seems like a map piece. And it is. And that is all there is to find on the island here. Oh, well, we are doing pretty bad again, though. We're poisoned, we're cut, we're getting sick, it's chilly, we're wet, but we're feeding powerful as all heck. Alright, now that we got everything on Iron Island, and we've 100% depleted all its resources, or at least its special resources, I guess we can go home for now. Alright, the pot has been fired, which means we should have all the supplies to upgrade the Spanish schooner, which should be the best ship in the game. Well, currently, anyway. Repair ship before upgrading? It needs to be full? Alright, the ship should be fully fixed up now. There we go, we can upgrade the Spanish Schooner. We got an arrow status, I didn't see what it was, though. Not sure what the heck we did, I guess because we stood on top of the ship. The wound became worse? My god. That was just a tiny scratch from, like, falling for a centimeter, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. Man can't catch a break. There we go, we have upgraded the Spanish Schooner. We have a lock storage on this thing now? That is fantastic. We can actually cook on here too? That is kind of ridiculous. Lock storage is really good though, because that means we can actually go to other islands now. And rob them of their resources instead of our main island here, which is getting pretty barren. Alright, let's also read this book. We can sense large fish now. I guess whatever that means. Alright, I guess let's make a couple of these steam leaf bandages. And there we go. Our cut is no longer there. Alright, I think I'm going to be leaving it off over here. We've explored a huge deal of the Puma region. And next episode, we probably go to Foggy Island. Get all the supplies we can get over there. And then to end it off, we're going to this one. Craggy Island. I'm also noticing that there's actually iron mines on uh, Craggy Island here too. So it isn't just Iron Island that has them, which is quite interesting. But this one is quite dangerous, because it should have the boss on there. We might also do some more of the story, because we still need to find the monoliths, and probably important to check those out, I would imagine. So we'll see what we'll do next episode, I guess. It's either explore, or continue questline. If you guys have any preferences to which one you want to see first, leave it down in the comments down below. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.